Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another day of insanity. For this video we chose two recipes each, one main dish and one dessert. We sent two pictures of each recipe to each other and we also sent the ingredient list mixed for both recipes. So all we have to go by are the pictures and the ingredients. We don't have the how-to part of the recipe, we basically have to look at the ingredients list, look at the pictures and try to guess how we make each of the two meals. At the end of the video we are going to be sent the original recipe and with that we are going to find out if we actually made what we were supposed to or if it was a complete flop. Here are my two recipes that Natasha sent me. This is the main dish. It's some um, pasta thing with jumbo shells, marinara sauce, cheese, yeah. And this is the dessert. It's something with obviously chocolate chips. It looks to me as well that it's like a chocolate mousse and it has some crackers and I think you use the crackers to eat the mousse. That's as much understanding as I get from it. So last night I started actually working on it and what I did, I'm gonna insert some footage here that I recorded last night, I printed two papers, one for each recipe. I also printed all the ingredients that Natasha gave me. I cut the ingredients individually and then I started deciding which ingredients were going to each recipe. Some of them were pretty obvious, so marinara sauce is obviously for the pasta dish, but there was one ingredient that made me have to really think about which recipe would have that ingredient and that was the egg. There is one egg in this recipe at the end I decided I'm going to use it on the dessert and I'm also going to separate the egg white from the egg yolk and I'm going to use it like that. But then after I had my ingredients separated, what I did was I also wrote on the paper a little how-to. I was brainstorming with myself and thinking what would the recipe actually say. So I was deciding I'm going to boil this and then cook that and then mix this and then mix that. And I wrote everything, I taped the ingredients here and basically I wrote my own recipe out of these ingredients. I thought this was the most easy way of doing this. So this way when I'm in the kitchen cooking, I can just look at this. The thinking is already thought and I don't need to waste my time thinking again, what am I supposed to do? I will just follow this that I thought really hard about this last night. So I'm just going to follow this and hope for the best. Here we are, it's a few days later and I finally got all my ingredients. However, it's already dinner time. I intended on starting all this earlier and I was going to make dessert first so it can chill in the fridge while I cook the rest and then everything would be ready, but it's dinner time. So I'm actually gonna start by making the main course and I'm hoping that while it goes in the oven, because I'm assuming it goes in the oven, um, I'll be able to do the dessert then. So as I showed you previously, I have here my instructions. So I'm gonna cook some pasta and then the way I think this works is that I'm gonna make some red sauce in a pot, lay it on a tray and then I'm gonna stuff the pasta because it's quite big pasta even though I think mine is not as big as it should be according to the picture but it's the biggest one I could find. I'm gonna stuff it with a mixture of ricotta cheese, garlic, basil, black pepper. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do but I don't see those ingredients on the picture and that's why I think they are probably inside the pasta itself. And then I'm gonna top all of that with some more cheese, parmesan, mozzarella, parsley again and then I'll put it in the oven to melt a little bit. It doesn't seem very difficult, at least the steps that I created and it doesn't seem like it's going to take too long to cook which is good because I'm hungry. Let's go and let's see how this works out. Here's the ingredients that I think I'm gonna need. So we have the big pasta, like I was saying. I don't think these are as big as they're supposed to be, but that's what we have, I'm gonna boil them. And then the recipe didn't ask for this, shredded chicken, but Natasha was the one who suggested it because the recipe is actually vegetarian. And all I did was make a comment on how the recipe was vegetarian. She said, add shredded chicken if you want. So we're gonna do that. I already made this, this was in my freezer. We have Parmesan, mozzarella. I was supposed to use uh, ricotta cheese but I couldn't find it in the supermarket and according to Google cottage cheese it's the most similar to that. I'm gonna use some garlic, a big jar of onion garlic pasta sauce. Now I don't exactly know if this is what we're supposed to use but it said marinara sauce and this is the closest I could get. Some salt obviously and then for spices we have oregano, garlic powder, black pepper and parsley. Now I'm gonna boil one kettle of water and start cooking the pasta and mixing everything together. <laughs> Just 
just like me, so this is a good thing. Another night ruined, I don't even know when we came this way. Now you're acting so different than when back when we had it easy. And now you don't believe me when I say I'll change. But how can I lose it now? It looks amazing, I must say. And I had some leftover pasta here, but they are mostly broken pieces, so I'm gonna give that to Suki. I'm sure she's gonna like it. And now on top, we're gonna put cheese. So we're gonna do mozzarella and parmesan. And voila! Now we put it in the oven. While the food is in the oven, I'm gonna start on dessert. Like the one before, I have all the things here and I'm gonna start by whipping one egg white in there. So I'm gonna put my attachment for that. Ideally, I would use a hand mixer to wipe my egg white, but I don't have one, so yeah, let's go with it. Yes, I'm gonna separate that with the yolk here and then get the white out and everything is gonna get mixed in there. Okay, let's go. Oh Now I'm thinking if instead of mixing everything together, I'm supposed to use this to help the chocolate chips adhere to the thing. Alright, so I washed this, it's still wet, but we're just gonna go with it. And now, hold on, the camera's pointing at the wrong direction. Now I'm gonna just basically dump everything in and we're gonna do like a chocolate mousse. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing, but we're doing it. All right, so starting with chocolate fudge brownie mix, unsalted butter, <clears throat> I'm using regular butter, 113 grams according to the recipe, 226 grams of cream cheese, the yolk, so, white with the powdered sugar. I'm going to try fold it in. Okay. 
And now I'm gonna put it in this bowl that I bought on purpose for this video, dedication, to create the bowl, but I'm gonna put some clean film in here so then we can take it out. Oh no, hold on. Before that, we're gonna add to the mi mixture, supposedly, toffee beads, but I couldn't find any. So we're going to use twigs instead. Flavor. It's good. It tastes really good actually. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and hopefully this will get solid. If not, I'll put it in the freezer. But for now, it will go in the fridge while we have dinner. Here's dinner, final result. I'm gonna put it on the plate now. Natasha just sent me the links for the original recipes so I can compare what I did with what I was supposed to do. And I already looked at it because I have no self-control and I really wanted to know what I was supposed to do. <laughs> and it is funny, so let me walk you through the process. So starting with the pasta dish, I was correct on guessing they were stuffed. I'm very proud of myself. Come on, I figured it out that it was stuffed. Genius. Have I ever stuffed pasta before? No. Did I still figure it out? Yes, I did! However, I did the stuffing wrong. First of all, the egg was in this recipe, not on the dessert. It was here. And the stuffing was combined ricotta cheese, for which I used the, what is it called? Cottage cheese. So that, with the egg, with the herbs, with the garlic, with the parmesan cheese, with the mozzarella cheese. Mix everything in a bowl. The cheese was here, not just on top. But it tasted good, maybe it would taste better with more cheese in it, I don't know, it tasted good. But the egg was here. <laughs> and then the tomato sauce for this one was just the jar, it doesn't say to add anything, it doesn't even say to warm it up, it's literally dump from the jar into the tray. Which makes it, theoretically, makes this recipe even quicker and even simpler. And maybe I will repeat it one day according to the correct recipe, because it was good, but I still feel like there was room for improvement, so maybe with the correct recipe it would actually be amazing. Now, moving on to the dessert, they call it a dessert cheese ball. By the way, I'm gonna leave the links for these two recipes down below in the description of the video if anyone is curious on trying them. This was more of a flop of what I did. So you were supposed to cream together the cream cheese and the butter, and then you were gonna add the brownie mix, the powdered sugar and the vanilla. It would have probably made it like thicker. According to the pictures on this recipe, it is much thicker and dense, but then as well, not only it had the toffee bits that are replaced by Twix, but it also had chocolate chips inside, like in the butter itself. And I thought they were only around, so that would have also helped it becoming thicker. And then they didn't actually put it in a bowl. They, because it's thicker, they just put it on top of the plastic film and then wrapped it in a bowl and chilled it in the fridge. But I couldn't have done that with the one that I had because mine was way too liquid. It is currently sitting in the freezer and I'm gonna check it out as soon as I finish recording this clip and we're gonna put the chocolate chips around and still going to do the recipe that I had initially intended, but it's not exactly this. And then basically you cover with chocolate chips, you serve with your favorite biscuits and you dip it and you go to town like that. There was a few mistakes. The biggest one is the fact that I used an ingredient in the wrong recipe, but that is fun. But this challenge was super fun, having to think what goes where and what I should combine and how to make that picture come to life was super fun. So let us know if you want us to make this challenge again, because it's fun, it is good food. Yes, we didn't follow the recipe. I mean, I don't know about Natasha, but I didn't follow the recipe exactly. I made some mistakes, but the food was still good. So now let's go downstairs to the kitchen where my chocolate dessert bowl thing is hopefully solid and we can cover it with chocolate chips. Here we are. If you hear any background noise, it's because the dishwasher is running, so bear with it. I just took it out of the freezer. Even though it's much solid, I don't know if it's actually gonna work because it seems very sticky, so I don't think it's going to come out of the clean film. 
but we're gonna try. I have the chocolate chips here and these were the biscuits that I got. I think they're just plain biscuits. I'm not 100% sure to be honest, but according to the picture, it looks like it is. I'm gonna grab a plate and we're gonna try and remove the cling film from this. This is very good. Obviously, it's not as pretty or as round as on the pictures, but... like this but I've tasted the thing so I'm sure this is great okay I'm sure this is great like I said earlier I hope you enjoyed today's video and let us know if you want us to do this again with another twist or something if you have any ideas let us know if you have any videos that you'd like to see us doing during the month of February let us know we're all up for crazy ideas so we're counting on you to help us expand our minds and with all this being said I will see you tomorrow for another video bye